in chalet number 210. The neighbor has been here before, so he's gonna show me around. This is my first time. We got these key cards that lets us in. Oh, it's nice and bright. It has a little welcoming mat with the place's name. Here it has all your dishwashing necessities and all your self-catering necessities. It even has an oven. That's so cool. Oh, that's a nice light. Let's try that again. It has a stove, a toaster, a kettle, an oven, which is pretty nice. Full oven. Mm, it has a sink and everything you need. A fridge that I'm assuming is empty. And then all the drawers here have all the stuff you would need. A nice little small kitchen. Then if you turn around, you are in the lounge. We have all these comfy seats, a little table here. And then, of course, the view that everyone comes for. You can see the other chalets out there. You have curtains so you can like close it off if you want to. But out here, this is so that no one can climb in through your window when it's open. But out here, apparently, the big five comes into this area and you can see them sometimes. So I think that is going to be pretty cool to see. Of course, there's then a heater because it's winter and it gets very cold. Which we'll probably be making use of tonight. Exactly. Oh, can we move it to the bedroom? Was that like a hazard? No, why not? Yeah. There's a TV. We got a remote. They gave it to us at reception. On the other side, again, some more view. A lovely table. And then on this side, if you go into this room, there's actually two rooms in here. This is the first one. You have two single beds together. Some windows up there, a little wall decoration, have a little vanity here with a chair. And then you have your part of the view, again, the area where the big five can come in. There I am in the mirror with the outfit I'm wearing today. I love this skirt so much. But then again, the bedroom, there's a closet. It's a pretty normal closet, except it has a carpet on the floor, which I find so weird. I don't have carpet on my cupboards at home, but it works. It also has some hangers and some extra warm blankets. You have your bedside table and your lights. Then you have the bathroom. Now, unfortunately, it has that thing. I have an issue with those things, but it's fine. I think it's a lovely bathroom. Of course, you have your toilet, the neatly wrapped toilet paper, which is an hotel must. You have this little note here. You then also have these little extras, conditioning, shampoo, hand sanitizer, and little soap bars. You also have these cups. You have this lovely mirror. Look at how big that is. I'm very happy with the size of this mirror. And then a lovely shower that looks small, but is actually pretty big. Like I fit under that thing comfortably. And then when you head out, let's go to the other bedroom. If you can please turn off the light. If you walk across to the other side, you have the main bedroom, which is probably the one we will be staying in. Now this one is a bit darker and I think that's lovely. It lets you sleep in. You also have a view here, but you also have the little porch out here with all your brying necessities on both sides. Oh, that's reflective. Oh, there's a squirrel. Hello. Where are you, little guy? Hi. Oh. Okay, we saw our first creature of the trip. But that's the view you have out here. You then have the vanity again here. Now let me turn some lights on so you can properly see the room. The light switches are right here where you come in. So now that the lights are on, you have the vanity in here. And I already checked in this drawer here. You get like a hair dryer, which I think is pretty cool because I didn't bring anything to do my hair with. But here you have a lovely double bed. I don't know what size it is but it looks very comfy. You have your own bedside tables and your lamps and you have a fan. As you can see, this is thatch roofing for the whole place. Is it warm in here? Uh, yeah, I mean, the duvet I think is down, so it's surprisingly warm. Ooh. Plus they also provide blankets, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds lovely. But let's yeah. look in this bathroom. This is again like the first one. This time it has a tub instead of a shower, and that is what I'm looking forward to. Of course, you have your toilet. Again, the same little note, the neatly folded toilet paper, and the lovely vanity. It's going to be lovely to have mirrors for a change. But yeah, that's what the whole place looks like. We're gonna run around and get our luggage in, get settled. We still have some marking and uni work to do. So that's probably what we're gonna do this evening. And then from tomorrow on, we're gonna be looking around and hopefully I get to show you a little bit more of the place we're in. So as you guys know, I judge a place by its bathroom. We are now at the reception hall. 
already booked in and this is what the bathroom looks like i'm still wearing this outfit and i'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day but the bathroom you have this decor you have these nice lovely big mirrors individual basins an advertisement for their very expensive spa and then just normal bathrooms you know as one does with your little wall decoration so i'd say it's pretty fine i love how this place focuses on mirrors I should take some mirror selfie somewhere good morning it is our first full day here in bakabum mm -hmm. or how do you say that yeah and um we slept in this morning got up had some coffee in bed and stuff like that but then when housekeeping came around they came earlier than i expected they we, did. i thought they were gonna come at 10 but they came around 9 and we were still just chilling in bed so i was like okay let's get up so we got dressed and all that they want us out of the room when housekeeping is in for like COVID reasons so we're not in there when they're in there and they can sanitize when they leave and all that which I think is pretty cool but then because we had to be out of the room and we have work to get done we decided to just take our laptops and go to the internet lounge by the restaurant so that's where we were sitting now for a few hours I got some marking done you were working on assignments I think mm -hmm. and now it's lunchtime so we're gonna head back we're gonna grab some lunch, we're gonna set up everything in the room again so we can continue working after that. And we also want to check out how we get into the game park and stuff like that. So I think we'll go do that quickly before lunch. Maybe just buy our passes so we can go later. But we have two plugs next to the bed that can't take a normal three-prong plug. I don't know what type of plug it is. Old European. It's an old European one, so it doesn't work with our computer chargers. So we can't sit and work in the bed. When we went in through reception, we asked them for an extension cord and they gave us one now as we left. It's pretty long. I think it'll definitely reach the bed. Yeah, for sure. Because there's a normal plug right underneath the vanity. So this will go from the vanity to the bed. And then we can work in bed. Yeah, where everything's comfortable and warm because oh, it was so cold last night. We had that gas heater going. But this thing right now is warm too. Like they said it was in use. They like plugged it out to give it to us, which like I feel a little bad, but I appreciate the effort. But right now it's definitely warming up my hand. When we asked them for an extension cord, they really went above and beyond because this thing is going to stretch from one side of the place to the other. That is ridiculous, but very convenient. game drive right now and if you look at those big rocks over there that would be a troop of hippos there's four of them there just vibing troop i don't know what you call a bunch of hippos i don't know either <laughs> i think oh one's zooming oh oh look it's a baby oh cutie pie they look so small from here but they're huge but also the views here is quite something it's nice and flat so you can really see nice and far yeah you'll see once we get over that hill over there it opens up and then it's really really cool okay that sounds fun mm. look we found elephants there's another one here there's a few just behind this tree and there's one on this side i don't see him now he was He's just behind, behind this bush here yeah everyone's stopping here to look at them okay the horns are cut mm, you know. yeah it makes sense that they would do that Look, it's a mommy and her baby. See, that's the mom. And there's the little one. How old would you say it is? Oh, okay. that's six months or so. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's already huge. Yeah. Apparently there are cheetahs here somewhere off to that side, but now we're in a traffic jam can't see anything and can't go anywhere but people out there they have their cameras out and as you can see people really want to get in here so it's clearly something you can see there but we really can't see anything from here now i don't want to be sitting in this traffic jam for the rest of the day but also if there are cheetahs i don't want to miss the opportunity of seeing them so we're a little stumped right now maybe through this gap we can see something but honestly are you seeing anything i am not seeing a damn thing Maybe everyone's just stopping because everyone is stopping and no one is seeing anything except for that one photographer. See, someone here is taking pictures, but I'm trying to see like at that angle, what 
What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Oh, there, there, there. Where? Where, where, where? There's movement there in the grass. There's oh. the black ears <gasps> and it's moving. I saw, there. I saw. Oh my gosh, it's a tail. Yeah. Yo, I don't think the camera can see any of that. Can you see? There she's standing up. Oh, hi. We should have brought our binoculars. Yeah, we'll bring him tomorrow when we go on again, drive. We also see the small things. Hey, little guy. Oh, there you go. You're very cute. You look very soft. Another day, another hippo sighting. They're just napping and sunbathing, which sounds divine. I wonder why they're outside the water so much, actually. Good morning. So yesterday we decided to come into the park where we are now. We drove around. We saw a lot of animals. Went back and then did work. We worked for an hour or two. And then we... We had dinner and did all that stuff. Got back into bed and did more work. I finished all my marking yesterday, which was good. This morning we slept in a bit. We got up late, which was pretty nice. Mm. But I had a video to finish for the EC. So I worked on that, edited that, got that done submitted that we also made a nice breakfast we sat outside and enjoyed the views and then decided since we aren't enjoying the views why don't we just go drive around in the park again because it's a different time of day you might see different animals and it's a really big place we definitely haven't been everywhere this time we want to go hit a lookout point so we're going to drive to the little hero shop in the middle and then go hit a few lookout points i miss the zebra we have on the property we should let them out again yeah, I was busy watching them cross the road, but there's a whole bunch of them there. And there's a giraffe in the background. Hey. That's cool. We ran into another one. Have you ever seen a giraffe's tongue? They're long and purple. and they have a salt lake here for some of the animals so we have some zebra right here as you can see and then back there we have some female kudus it's pretty cool the females are a lot smaller than the males that I can show you things in the lab like this. Let's see if I can show you things in the real world like this. Would you look at that? It's working. And now would you look at that rhino? Now if you pay close attention, you'll see the rhino no longer has its horns. And they do that so that there's no reason for anyone to poach them. So it's in their best interest. Another thing they do to protect rhinos is actually pretty interesting. We got this guide for the park with all the information and stuff about it. And here it says all the numbers of everything except for the rhino numbers so that people who want to poach them don't know what's here. See him, he's right I can here. also see it, yeah. They're still going. It got that one, I tell you. No, no, the one who's making the noise over there. So we literally just watched a cheetah hunt. We told these people there are four cheetahs here, and look at what they're doing. I'm too stressed, man. My windows are closed. <laughs> they're all sitting here in the shade. Four of them. I think they've given up the hunt for now until we get out of the way. I would have to. Gorgeous kitties. Just as we're about to head out the gate, look at all those elephants. 
There's big ones and there's small ones. Look at all those chicken. <laughs> what is this man doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you. This thing is so tame, hey? Yeah. So this place we're in has a bathtub, which I checked beforehand to make sure there's a bathtub because I want to bathe with a bath bomb. So here's the one I'm going to use tonight. The Nature's Nourishment Bath Fizzer in the flavor Lavender. I just got this from Diskim. It's nothing special. I bathed in the coconut one yesterday. It was nice to be in the tub, like it was all smooth and stuff like that, but when I got out, I wasn't necessarily more or less hydrated, so I'm not expecting anything of this one. But I also have a lush bath bomb, and I'm excited to try that one, because they're usually fancy. But for that one, we'll probably sit in our swimsuits and jump in the tub together so we can both enjoy the bath bomb. So we decided to get up super early, be some of the first people in the park and catch some views we wouldn't get otherwise. And so far we've only seen Springbok and we're now seeing they do hot air balloon tours apparently. Okay, that is the sound of a jackal. There's the hot air balloon I wanted to show you. But there is something standing out there too. I don't think that's the jackal, but we're hearing one. We ended up seeing a leopard. Look at him sitting there. What a lucky find. Well, it's hard showing you things through these binoculars. <laughs> Okay, so like I mentioned, we got up early hoping to see some interesting things because early in the morning is when all the predators are hunting. But it was pretty empty as we drove in, nothing by the usual spots, and we were kind of worried we won't see anything. And then we heard a jackal looking at a wildebeest, and then while I was looking with the binoculars, there were like four giraffe form in the background I didn't realize were there. So I was like, oh cool, we saw like a bunch of things at one time. And then literally a minute down the road, we spotted a leopard that I showed you, and all of the tour buses and stuff that come early in the morning as well they were all stopping there and all looking there but i'm glad we actually got to see it there's another jackal sitting there right now it might be the jackal dude it might be the same one you're yeah. right but it's been a fruitful morning it was worth getting up at six to see everything look at that it's a mama rhino and her baby the baby's hard to see but look at that we've seen so many rhinos here oh so we're sitting outside doing some work while housekeeping is here and we have a little guest. Hello. Oh, you're hiding. Do you know what it is? I think it's the same as that one that we saw at the hide yesterday. Maybe. That white winged something. I can't remember the name. It is 9.56. We have to book out by 10 a.m. So we are exactly on time. We're on our way to the front desk to go drop off our key cards and all that. And check out. We're then going to go to the park again the last time before we hit the road home. There's something on my camera. Why is this so, so that's the reception we just booked out. There is the restaurant you could eat at. And then this is the picture frame you see if you Google this place. And I don't know where I thought it was, but seeing it relative to everything else was actually quite strange. So we had a little chalet, but look at how big the houses get that you can rent here. How fancy. You know, even though we are in the bush, you can't really get away from ads. There are so many cars with ads on them in here, which I'm sure it's just a coincidence that people just have those cars, mm. but it's actually shocking how many of them there are. But right now we're kind of stuck in a bit of a roadblock. We're trying to find out what everyone's looking at. Sorry, what's the roadblock for? A leopard, oh, okay. We have a few of these on the farm as well, so we do see them semi-frequently, but they're so chill. They're usually with zebras. I wonder where the zebras are, they must be nearby then. The hippos are pretty close to us today, look at that. They're right here. Hello. We're looking at them through the binoculars now, and look at how many scratches this one has on its back. It definitely got in a fight with something. Oh, there goes my camera. That is intense, I wonder what happened. It's focusing on the grass, I'm having a hard time showing anything. Heading out of the park for 
the last time now and we just saw a troop of elephants crossing the road which I recorded but just after that we saw there were three more to the left it was like a mama a baby and like an older looking baby it seemed like it and um, we stopped to look at them and watch them eat and all that stuff and then the mom straight up just like growled at us is that the word you would use yeah I don't know what the word is actually she made a very unhappy noise we were like okay okay we're going it's fine but like just before that happened we were talking about how there's been some turmoil in the elephant community because they've been near the lodge we were staying at and then we could hear them growling and trumpeting and stuff like that so there was clearly some upset with the elephants and then we actually got to hear it and see it which was pretty cool because we heard the sound a few times while they were nearby and we were like are there others really elephants though is that is that really them never heard them make that sound before but now that i've seen it come right out of a mama elephant's mouth i'm like yep okay that's an elephant and we're leaving it was a pretty cool experience Thank you.